Hi, it's Terry Gaines. In this video, I'm going to create a card using the Peaceful Cabin Bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies bundled together for 10% savings. This combination works great for this fun fold card because it's going to be a scene across the front of the card in two tiers. So the stamp set and the dies work great for this. At the end of assembling this card, I'm going to show you how you can use other images to create a scene if you are not using the cabin and the trees. So let's get started. The cardstock I'm going to use is basic gray. It is six and a half inches by five, I'm sorry, by four and a quarter, and scored at one inch and at five and a half inches. And those score lines are gonna be folded up to be valley folds like this. Then what we need is two pieces that are going to be five and a half inches long. I have cut one of them at two and a half inches, scored at one half inch on each side, and this is going to be for the cabin. So what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm going to line this edge of the die up to the score line and place it so this chimney is parallel to this edge and run that through my die cutting machine. When I do that, I will end up with a piece like this and I'll need to take my paper snips and just complete the cut right here. So we're going to need that piece for one. The other piece that's five and a half inches, I've cut that at three and a half inches, and this is gonna be for the trees. So I'll it's also scored at half inch on both sides. I'm going to take the die and line it up to the score line and close to the top here, run that through my die cutting machine, and I will get a piece like this, and I will need to take the paper snips and complete that cut right to that edge to separate those two pieces. Now the size I cut the tops off of these isn't quite big enough for a template, and so I cut those a little bit bigger for a template. So we're gonna do some stamping on this part, but I'm going to first um, finish the pieces that we need. We also need a piece that's four and a quarter by four, and that's for the inside sentiment of the card, which actually is going to be adhered to the back of the card. So we'll do that at the end. And then you need designer series paper or a decorated cardstock that is four and a quarter by four. I took basic white and ran it through the um, Evergreen Forest 3D folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that. So that decorated piece needs to be adhered to the inside of this piece. So I'm gonna do this first. And the sentiment image here can be adhered now or at the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it now with my adhesive. And this is the back of the card. This is where you would sign your card. All right, so now let's stamp these two images. I'm gonna bring in the Stamparatus. I love using the Stamparatus when I am stamping images that are cut out with the dies. And I briefly mentioned that I cut new templates. And the reason is this one is not a lot of surface here. I just cut a new one to get a little bit bigger. I'm going to take the Stamparatus. I have the tree image on here, and I have one sheet of the small grid paper. The color of the ink I'm going to use is basic, basic gray. I'm gonna tap that on and stamp this on my grid paper and get my placement of the trees. Then I'm gonna take this template and place this down and line it across the top of the trees and place that down. Take the magnets and hold that in place. Take this piece that I've cut out already, place this right in this opening here. And let's see, it's just like a puzzle piece. You wanna make sure it's nice and placed in there nice and straight or flush here. Just ink up your trees, stamp them again, and now you have the trees stamped. And then what I'm going to do, if I made multiples, I would keep doing that. The Stamparatus comes with two plates. I have the cabin stamped on, or cabin stamp placed on the other plate. I am going to ink this up. 
stamp it on the grid paper, get my placement, take my cabin outline here, line this up, put my magnets down, and if you're making multiples of this, you would want to continue to do all of them before you take go to the next step. Get that in nice and flush. I think I'm shifting things around. Hopefully it's not wiggling the camera. And tap the ink on, bring it down, stamp the cabin. And I got lots of ink. I got a newly inked ink pad, so I get lots of ink. Best results are just a light coverage, but I'm gonna continue with my video so you can see how this is all put together. I'm gonna to bring this piece back in. So these are the only pieces we need for our project. We do need a strong adhesive. I'm gonna use the tear and tape, and I'm gonna put it closer to the edge of the paper and not too close to my score line. Right now, you might not be able to see that score line too well, but I'll show it in a moment. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see it. We wanna make sure that um, we put a strong adhesive on this because we're changing the shape of the card. It's got a hold, have a strong hold on the side and our cardstock's gonna to wanna to go back to its original shape. So you do need a stronger adhesive. And it's important that we don't have any exposed adhesive. So I'm gonna just trim off this little piece that is on the edge there. So these score lines are going to be mountain folds, meaning they go back and um, we put the adhesive on the front side. So the front side that you stamped, not too close to the score line here. So now what we're going to do is just fold those back for a moment. Now we're going to adhere the scene across this card. We want it flush to the bottom. So my tip for you is to fold this piece up and this bottom, this um, inside scene is going to go down first along the edge of the paper is along that fold. Then you're going to take the edge of the top layer, put it to the score line of the middle layer, and you're going to fold this over just to make sure that you have no exposed adhesive. Put some pressure down. The take your pick tool helps you get the backing of that strong adhesive off. And I'll get that off on the side, bring this down. Then what we're gonna do is open this up, bring this layer down flush to the bottom, this layer down flush to the bottom. Bring that down, just to verify you have no exposed adhesive. Hold that flat. Take the take your pick tool, get your backing off, bring this down. And now you have a scenic card that will stand on the, on the desk. And oops, as I mentioned, the cabin bundle just puts that scene right in there for you. And you can put designer series paper in the back. And the beauty of this, this goes flat and it will fit into our medium size envelope. And you've got the back to sign the card. So that is built, like I said, with the cabin scene. But I'm gonna quickly show you how you can do this and build your own scene. So for this card, I'm using the Just Jade, the Penguin Playmate paper, and I've stamped the trees and layered those over the paper. So that's gonna be my back scene. I've determined how high I wanted this by what I wanted to cover up for those trees. That's gonna be my inside layer. So before I assemble this, I take the inside layer, lay it flush, and then I attach my images, and this could be different trees, it could be all kinds, sailboats, lighthouses, and attach my image. Just be sure that you have no exposed adhesive here. Then I will take my brace for my very outside, place that one down, and whatever I want on here, which I'm going to put this cute little penguin. This one I did put dimensionals on it, and I am going to take the backings off, and I actually put three. And I, you got to be cautious of know where are the dimensionals. They're all neck and below. That means when I place this on, I'm going to put it right between the trees. I have to be sure that the neck is on this brace. 
and so I have no exposed adhesive here. The reason that is, once you lay it flat, put it in the envelope, you take it out, it's no longer going to open up. So I already have my tear and tape on the edge. I'm going to line those pieces up, put some pressure. Just going to bring that down. You want to always make sure you have no exposed adhesive, so just test it out before you actually adhere it. And bring this side down. And I think I don't have that square. There we go. Open it up. Bring this one down first. And we'll line that up. Bring this one down next. We'll line the bottom up. Just going to make sure our adhesive isn't exposed. Put some pressure down. Take your pick tool will help you get that adhesive backing off and bring this down. It's a strong adhesive. And now we have this for our scene. So that's how you can build your scene, but the cabin um, already has it built in. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please contact me. Take care and happy stamping.